We're here at the Arm Booth, and uh, who are you? Hi, I'm Ryan. Uh, I work for Arm. I'm a developer community specialist. I work mainly on the MarleyDeveloper.arm.com website. So that's where you can go and you can get a lot of free resources, developer guides, tutorials, all on the Marley GPU. So how many developers still with Marley outputs doing? Ah, probably all of them, I expect. I have no idea how many in terms of physical number. There's a lot of things you can optimize using this stuff. Yes, definitely. If you use applications correctly, if you know how to target specific ARM and Marley hardware, um, you can do that through a lot of GPU compute, for example, if you're doing OpenCL, um, which is something we're showing over here, or if you are looking at things like Vulkan, which is the new API from Kronos. So you have a Vulkan uh, integrator right now on the uh, Exynos 8890. This is a uh, A53. Yes, that's right. And the Samsung M1 MP4. So it's a big little core configuration. Uh, so M1 is the big core from Samsung. So that's why they're own CPU cores. Yeah, custom custom big core. And that pairs with the A53 little core. And then we have the GPU, which is the Mali T880. And that's got 12 cores of graphical processing. And you're showing this off? Uh, we're showing this, which is an ARM internal demo. Yeah. So the demo is actually our Vulcan technical, technical demo. So you can see it's running through at the minute, but we can also just go and control it. So you can see it's a whole cityscape. We can see all the bandwidth and performance being measured there. It's all running in Vulcan. So this is a proof point of the Vulcan API running on our Mali mobile devices. With Vulcan, you're able to get a lot closer to the hardware as a developer. So you can actually tell which bits of hardware are being activated to run different parts of your application. And by doing that, you're able to control much better battery and performance. So you can get performance when you need it, but also you can get great uh, great amount of battery performance, so you're actually quite efficient as well. It's like more granular, more detailed API, so you, you're not like just uh, putting a bunch of GPU uh, resources and stuff, but you can control it better? Yeah, exactly. You can, you've got a lot more control as a developer when you're using Vulkan than you have with traditional APIs like OpenGL, ES, or OpenGL um, for desktop. And the uh, GPU computer, are you super busy with that? Yeah, GPU computes really taking off. Um, you'll have heard about ARM's acquisition of Apical. Um, if you have seen it, there's um, a lot of videos online for IVG as well. Um, so they're here at TechCon as well. Um, but also, we have an abundance of partners for computer vision. Um, so one of which is Luxoft. Um, and tied in with that is a lot of uh, deep learning and deep neural networks. So in this example here, we have a uh, deep learning occurred offline. So there was a database of about a thousand objects. And as you see here, we're now running the application just on a phone. And as it goes through, we're doing a detection of what these objects are as the camera sees them. So, so it says it's a Maltese dog. Yep, exactly. And now we're going golf ball. So that's referencing the algorithm and it's running here with OpenCL, which I mentioned for computer vision. And it knows as a mouse, it's quite confident. Yes. This is very good. Isn't it awesome? Yep. And if you look at the CPU here, so we're currently running that algorithm just on the CPU. So you can see a load about 58% there. If we change now to the GPU, change to the GPU, we can see a drop down to about 16, 20% CPU utilization. That's awesome. Oh, we never, we never uh, is this ready? Brilliant. Yeah, this is. A uh, so this is a demo running on Armor Mali natively. Um, there's also an application from Locksoft which is already available to download from the App Store. So you can see it using their cloud system for the image recognition as well. I'm interested in what the battery life is. Yeah, I think so. We're really interested in engaging with ecosystem partners. We have a whole massive ecosystem for computer vision, gaming, apps and browsers, even emerging technologies like clamshells as well. We're very committed to supporting any app in the use case. Yeah, just like any use case with Armour and Mali, we want to see it used in the most efficient way. Um, so you've got, uh, in the case of a clamshell, we want to make sure they're picking appropriate CPU GPU combinations. We offer a whole suite of IP there. And making sure those apps and games can be optimized for that uh, different use case, that form factor. Yeah, but it's, it's 